Hello everyone, welcome, welcome, welcome. Guess what we're gonna be doing today? We're gonna clear the skin of hyperpigmentation. We're gonna get rid of dark spot, acne prone skin, old scars, new scars. We are also gonna get rid of blackhead marking on the skin. This remedy is also good for dark on the eye circles. This is a spot treatment remedy. This remedy, you can actually apply it at night, spot treat it with a Q-tip, up on the horizon in the morning, rinse off and reveal a clear skin. So if you're interested, let's go in the kitchen. Let's whip this up really, really quick. And I'll also show you at the end of the video how best to use this on your skin for fast results. <laughs> Our spot remover remedy we're gonna be using a potato and this is a medium potato so what we need to do to prep the potato is to peel chopped and then we're gonna blend now the potato contain an ingredient known as catecholase. Catecholase, when activated, will help to clear the skin of hyperpigmentation. Any form of a dark spots, any form of a old scars, acne scars, it will help to lighten and brighten. Now take a look, here we have the peeled potato. And what I'm going to do next, I'm going to reach for a small bone, I'm going to reach for a grater, and I'm gonna grate the potato. Now, if you do not want to grate the potato, you can also go ahead and blend the potato. For this recipe, however, I like to grate instead of blending the potato. So what I'm gonna do with this potato, I am gonna strain to extract the juice. So let's reach for another bowl and a strainer. We're just going to use our hand. You can also choose to use a cheesecloth to extract the juice. And now I'm just going to strain, pressing it. Now, once you're satisfied that you extract all the juice, now take a look here we have the potato juice and what we're gonna do we're gonna put this aside for about half an hour or so for it to settle so let's do that now guys after about 30 minutes or so you're gonna reach back for your potato at this time it should be settled and what we're gonna do we are gonna extract the potato juice to reveal the potato starch. There at the bottom, that white thing there, that is the potato starch, and that's what we're gonna be using. So slowly drain the top off, like I'm showing here. Just slowly drain it off. Now remember, this is wet starch. So take your time to drain the top off. And this one is coming off pretty nicely. Great. You can choose to use the top of this in your facial remedies, put it aside. However, today what we're using is what is left at the bottom, which is the potato starch. So let's just, and look at that guys, real starch right there. Up close, look at that. This is your potato starch. And because it's wet, it's melting away. Now guys, once we have our potato starch ready, we're gonna reach for some dried orange and lemon peel powder. In this, I mix dried orange peel and lemon peel together. And we're not using a lot of this. All I'm using is about a pinch. Pour this in. And it's just gonna be playing around in that, like I'm showing here. All right, next, I'm gonna reach for another bleaching agent. And here I have some turmeric powder. Turmeric powder will have to lighten and brighten the skin. It also contains antibacterial properties, making it good for acne prone skin, pimples, and even blackheads. Now for our turmeric powder, I'm gonna use about a quarter teaspoon of the turmeric powder. I'm gonna pour this in. So now we have potato starch, dried orange peel, and turmeric powder. And now we're gonna add our final ingredient to this and my final ingredient is aloe vera gel 
You can choose to use the jelly aloe vera gel, or you can choose to use these that are more watery, whichever goes. So I'm gonna use about a teaspoon of the aloe vera gel. And now we're just gonna mix this all together. So we're blending potato starch, aloe vera gel, dried orange peel, and turmeric powder. Scoop it out, guys. Make sure to get all the potato starch in. So blend well, guys. Totally blend well. And now, guys, here is your hyperpigmentation remover. Now this is just for spotting and anywhere on your skin where you're looking to lighten and brighten, especially for dark spots and blemishes that are a little difficult to get rid of. Now this guy, you're gonna store in a small container. So let's just pour this out. Make sure to get everything out. Take a look, here it is. Now to use this guys, you're gonna use a Q-tip to spot treat the area. Let me just show you really, really quick how to use it on your skin. Now store this in your refrigerator for up to about seven days. When it is done, you should make a new batch. Now guys, this is also good to use anywhere on your body that you have hyperpigmentation, okay? So let me show you really, really quick how to use this. To use our hyperpigmentation remover, it's best to apply it with a Q-tip. So you want to just dip your Q-tip in, and a little goes a long way. You really do not need a lot. And you're going to apply it to wherever you have hyperpigmentation. Now once you apply it to the spot, you're gonna let it sit there and it's gonna dry. You're gonna use this preferably at night on your skin, up on a rising in the morning, you just simple rinse off. Now guys, if you continue to use this on a regular, before you know it, your spot will fade tremendously. So apply it to clean skin, leave it on, let it dry, sleep with it, wake up and rinse off, preferably with some cold water.